Good morning, Pastor Ruffin here. Today's April 8th, and this is our daily check-in. Our scripture passage for today is James chapter 4, verses 7 and 8, and it goes like this. Submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Come near to God, and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. You know, uh, this has been a very clarifying couple of weeks for me since essential businesses, essential doesn't seem that hard, does it? Essential businesses have been closed. Uh, one of the things that I thought was essential for me was getting my hair cut every 10 days. I mean, for the last 25 years, I've gotten my hair cut every 10 days or so. Um, I thought that was a need, but as it turns out, it might have been a want. But you know what I do need? Um, and what I love about going to get my hair cut, and I've been able to reflect about this, is I love the fellowship that I have with my barber and with the other barbers who are there. They know my family, they know my boys and I especially, and I really miss that fellowship that we have there. What are your needs and wants? Have you had time to reflect on the things that are most important to you? And to be quite frank, the things that are most important to God in your life and the things that are extra in your life that you probably don't need and are drawing you away from God instead of towards God. I love in today's scripture, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Today, I suggest this. You draw near to God through prayer, uh, through just taking time to reflect on what you really need and what's really important to you in life. And the things that you want, the things that you can get out of the way of the important things in life. God bless you all. Have a great day. Let's bow our heads and pray. Gracious God, I pray that you would help us to draw near to you today. Uh, Lord, there is a lot about our holiness in this scripture passage this morning. These two little verses. James packs so much into such a little space. And Lord, I ask that you would help us in this holy week to desire being holy, being set apart. Lord, we commit ourselves to you today. Lord, we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you all. Have a great day.